welcome back. The Veterans Memorial people loved the Christmas wreath I made for them. They have it hanging on the memorial wall where everybody's names are. I'm super excited. Uh, they also still have the auto, uh, autumnal, autumnal one up. Um, they like my wreaths. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be making two more wreaths today. One for me and one for my dad, which I'm going to get to him to put on the camp in Grand Isle, which is a motorhome. Big old motorhome. Anyway, RV. Big old RV. And he doesn't know he's getting it. It's a surprise. So, and uh, I got all my stuff here and we're going to get a surprise guest helping us if she wakes up. I've been calling her to wake up. Don't know if it's going to happen. She is almost a teenager. We shall see. Today is the 22nd of November. I went and walked uh, 3.6 miles at Veterans Memorial this morning wearing this. Yes, it is 62 degrees outside. I have my house open. You probably can hear the cars passing by. Uh, let me start decorating a wreath while I'm talking. That'd be a great idea, huh? Uh, so I went walk at the Veterans Memorial. I think I'm gonna put a little white on each one. And um, as I was walking, <laughs> I'm in my tank top <laughs> and short. Well, I have a squirt, a squirt on. Uh, there were people cutting grass <laughs> and had <laughs> knit, hat, knit hats on, knit. and big jackets. <laughs> <laughs> like it was really cold. The wind was blowing from the north and it was a little chilly, but it wasn't that cold. I mean, really, people. Come on now. I don't think they were veterans. Because, you know, oh, I decided since this is festive and Christmassy, just to make sure. <laughs> I'm gonna cut string and tie stuff in the back. This Christmassy twine and tie the stuff to the back. That'll work, yeah, to keep it in place. The little knots. And if you see the little red, you can just snap that out like that. Got my hot glue gun going. Oh, that may, may look how pretty that is. Oh, oh. I'm going to put all of these on this one because I like it. I like that knee. Me. I had a good walk this morning. I woke up, I felt like walking. I didn't feel weak or dizzy. I'd be... I had another needle biopsy because of my thyroid. And the last test was inconclusive and we just have thyroid issues left and right in my family. Uh, name a cousin and in my immediate family grandparents included and uh, aunts uncles and first cousins and uh, they have thyroid issues and I have uh, Hashimoto's and since I'm on Synthroid I should not have had tumors forming and since they could and it took them two hours again to do five, ten needles. Not pleasant. 
But I was a trooper. I played music for me from the 80s. I think it was mostly more for them. But I really liked it. <laughs> so there. getting this. I'm tying string while I'm doing this and I know you can't see too much what I'm doing but I, I'm, I'm gonna okay. oh there's the board right there. Oh, I'm on this side. Of the bar. Can I reach it? Can I reach it? Can reach it? Can reach it? <laughs> oh, it's really close right there. Hmm. I don't think I can reach it there. Ah, this will be good. I can just twist this thing. Make it twisty. So it twists around. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Now that ain't going anywhere. There we go. I, I got scissors everywhere. These Tim Holtz scissors, worth it. Oh my God. They are fabulous. Okay, so we got two white thingies on here. I'm just going in a circle and putting them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hope I keep talking to y'all the whole time while I'm doing this because last time I stopped talking and then I had to play music. And God knows why I stopped talking. I, I have actually no clue. I just did. I guess I got tired good place to be. Right here is where I want to come out the back. Yeah, right here. Because then I'll be on both sides of, see there's like a metal thing that goes here. You can't, I'll show you later in a minute. Hold on, let me get I make things more complicated than they need to be probably most times. But I actually have a lot of fun doing this stuff. If somebody would have said when I was like in my 20s that I would be crafty when I got older, I'd have been like, you are out of your mind. And here I am. The craftiest person I know. Okay, but no. No, no, no. I know somebody else is craftier. Yeah. I do. I really do. Lovely. She's more crafty than I am. She is. Okay. Tied it on. Both sides of the thing. Now I have to pull it forward. Well, that wasn't quite as effective as I would have liked it to have been since I just pulled it out. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Put it through. And then I'm going to chop and I'm going to bend it. with wreaths with the leaf. You know, I admire those people who make those like really abstract, funky wreaths with all kinds of 
crazy things going on. Because I don't know how they come up with all that. That's just wild and crazy, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's just not me. That's better. Here we go. We're getting better. Now. Now. And then the last one. We'll go here. Symmetry. Symmetry. Going for a little symmetry here. So, uh, I decided last night I, I changed my sheets and uh, I had to throw away a down comforter that was kind of dry rotted and the feathers all were in my bedroom. And I decided that I needed to get a couple more comforters uh, that I could just throw in the washing machine and not down. Mm -mm. Uh, don't need those feathers. And uh, hit some Black Friday sales that are already going on. And got two sets, and Santa's gonna bring that to me. Yay! My mom always told me that as long as I believed in Santa Claus, Santa Claus was passed for me. And you know what? She's right. He still does on Christmas morning. There's always something there for me from Santa. Now that my mom's not playing Santa anymore, it's me playing Santa. <laughs> I get even better stuff from Santa. You know, you know what? What were the best Christmas presents you ever got? I tell you what, this is when I was twelve. Best Christmas present I got me and my sister got the same thing. We got okay, this is spiky. We need balls. We need these balls on this one. Yeah, I got three of them spiky and balls. Okay, so my uh. Santa passed and uh, he left a 410 pump shotgun for duck hunting and a manicure kit for me and for my sister each. I was 12. My sister was 13. Santa decided that year that when my sister became a teenager that we were ready to go hunting. I was always a little more rough and ready than my sister was. So uh, Santa knew what he was doing when we got the manicure kit with the 410 pump because I had always bitten my fingernails. I was a very, very, very insecure child. I bit my fingernails. I had a teddy bear, a blanket I slept with. I had to sleep in complete darkness. Could not have a nightlight. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Because night vision, I knew about night vision before the army. I did. Uh, I knew about night vision because I knew that when you woke up and the room was dark, you could see. But if a light was on, you couldn't see that good. So, if the Rugaru the werewolf or some other monster or somebody came to get you. Oh, I'm too strong. I just 
I broke the twine tying it. I don't know my own strength these days. Um, while you were sleeping, if you woke up and there was a nightlight on, they could see you and you would be blinded and you wouldn't have a chance to run away. They would get you because they would see where you are. But if you had, it were in complete darkness, you would be okay. The mind of a three-year-old. So, okay, oh, and I sucked my thumb. Sucked my thumb, bit my fingernails, teddy bear, blanket, complete darkness, all asleep. Yeah, I was in the army. I overcame everything, everything. I have no fear in this world right now, none. Absolutely nothing scares me. But back to the uh, 410 pump. Okay, so we got the 410 pump, and my mom was the hunter originally in the family, and she had gotten my dad to hunt. My dad was very, it, it is one of the most kind hearted people you will ever meet. He is a very gentle soul. Um, he, if you ask all his cousins, who their favorite cousin is, they will tell you it's my daddy. All his contemporaries. And <laughs> with good reason. Because he's just so sweet. He's he's everybody loves my daddy. Um and <sighs> goodness gracious, I love my daddy. So, my dad takes my sister hunting first. My mom wasn't hunting at this time. She had had her first heart attack and uh, she didn't hunt anymore. So, my dad took my sister duck hunting and they were in the blind and early, early, they went early, early, early and they were in the blind in the marsh and because we live in Southern Louisiana and it was bitter cold and like probably 40 degrees and uh <clears throat> they were uh sitting there with their coffee and waiting for the ducks and then all of a sudden some ducks come flying in and my dad goes look at me all some ducks and she puts her gun down and she goes oh, they're beautiful when they fly and my dad goes that's my daughter inside he told that so when he told that story to my mom, he goes, that's my daughter. <laughs> and she didn't kill anything. So then the next day, he takes me. And we're in the blind. And it's freezing cold. <laughs> Probably like 40 degrees. <laughs> and we got our coffee. <laughs> and we're sitting there. And I got my gun. And I'm ready. And I'm ready. And I'm ready. And he goes, And not only did I shoot that duck, but I killed, I killed that duck. I cleaned that duck myself. Plucked the feathers. And I ate that duck. And my grandmother made a pillow out of the feathers from that duck. And I still have that pillow. Now. I also stopped biting my fingernails when I got that gun. And every time I have shot that gun, I have broken a fingernail. Santa knew what he was doing when he gave me a, pedicure, a manicure set with that. So my dad takes me home and tells my mom the story. <laughs> my mom goes, that's my daughter. Oh yeah, I'm my mom's daughter. Yeah. It's Joyce's daughter who was in the army, not Norman's.
so and every time I've shot that 14 pump it's got a kick to it I bruised my shoulder oh let me tell you that little that little gun's got some kick I don't hunt anymore lost my taste for it after being in the army and telling you stories, Christmas stories. Okay, so when I was growing up, as you can tell, in my lush semi-tropical paradise, this is like um, the day before Thanksgiving, and I'm in a tank top. I have my house open because it's 60 degrees outside. Oh, she awakes my angel. I was awake. It was just that I was too warm. You were too warm. Go get dressed. We're videotaping. She's in a nightgown. It's a little too small for her. Go get dressed. And then we'll make, we'll make wreaths together. Okay. okay. I have this. Okay, look. See how we have this thing going? With. I only have three of the big balls, but I have this one little ball thing, which is going to go here for some, oh, Frenny's here. This is Frenny, my dog. She's a lab mix with a little bit of collie. She weighs 41 pounds and she thinks I'm a dog and she thinks I am the alpha. And she comes and she climbs on me in the bed. She loves me. She is the sweetest thing ever. Ever. Her name is Frenny. She's my friend. I named her because I got her at a frenetic time in my life. But she's my friend. Frenny! Isn't she sweet? She's beautiful. She's very sweet. And she's scared of everything, including the chickens. Can you get down now so I can finish the read? Hmm? Hmm? You want to get down? You were jealous that Camille came and got some attention and you needed some too? Hmm? Is that what it is? That's what it is, huh? Yeah. Okay. Down. Down. Oh. Mm, yes, I love you. Okay. Down. You go. No. <laughs> down. You go. That's pretty. I'm doing some. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're gonna be there, you're gonna be there. Just have to deal with me making a wreath. Okay, so this is gonna twist around here. Show them that. Your your flannel Christmas tree for your door. Uh -huh. I think it's fabulous. My shirt. My, my shirts are getting so big. I've lost so much weight. I've lost 81 pounds. I'm sorry, my bra was just showing. I'm sorry I was flashing y'all. Another year, Santa brought me pearls. I don't know where my pearls went. I was 16. No, I was 15. My sister was 16. Oh, bring the chair. What? Put me, put that chair full. My rascal card is in the way. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We are. Um, Putting this wreath together and telling Christmas stories 
about the best Christmas presents we got. Uh, well, at least I am. <laughs> and they're probably telling stories of their own while watching this or thinking about them. Uh, what is the best Christmas presents you've ever gotten? Uh, Do you remember Christmas presents you've gotten? Tricycle. You, you got your tricycle. You remember the tricycle you got? And what was great about the tricycle? It was fun. It was yeah. fun? Where did you ride it? Everywhere. Everywhere where? Outside and inside. Inside the house? Did I let you ride it in the house? Mm -hmm. The reason why I let her ride it in the house is she rode it in this house. This is my mama's house. And when I, this is where I grew up. And my mama let us ride our tricycles in the house. Because as you can hear, we live right on the highway. She wasn't going to let us go ride our, our tricycles outside and, and get run over. So, you know, I'm so pleased my mama, smart like she was, she took the initiative and said, my kids aren't going uh, on the road. They can ride in my house. And some people complain, came and made comments because the baseboards were getting scruffed because we'd turn the corners and we'd hit them. And, and he said, my joy's been messing up. And my mama's like, when I, grow, when I get old, I'm going to look at that. I'm going to think of all the kids. And when they're gone, then they're going to be laughing. And I'm going to hear them laughing. And it's going to make me happy. So there you go. I think this should go on here. What do you think? Tweety bird. Is this going to be the one for us or for Papa? I think for Papa. I think he'd like this. And... So, uh, let me just start putting on um, so much red glitter everywhere. Yeah, red glitter everywhere. I'm just petting my bird. Okay, I'm going to stick these in at various places, and then we'll... Trees, trees, trees. Yeah, I, I, I get things in threes. Let me put this one over here. Yeah, no, it goes right there. And this is in threes. Yeah. And not this. Mm. And I'm this this is over now. And, oh, if I can find. Oh, there it is. Found it. So, uh, she got her tricycle. Do you remember the kitchen you got? Yes, it's still in my room. You still got the kitchen in your room? Mm -hmm. That was a great that was a great Christmas present. Mm -hmm. I use it to store stuff. Mm-hmm. Mostly because the top is perfect for placing stuff. Uh-huh. Placing stuff on it, yeah. Here's another one. And then there was my Xbox. Mm-hmm. That was, was a good one. Yeah. I think my my scooter. Oh, scooter was a good one. And you you know you had that scooter for years and years and years, and you would not ride it. You got that scooter when you were like you asked for the scooter, and Santa brought it to you when you were four or five, and you didn't ride it until you were like nine. She's ready for a new one. She's twelve and a half. I broke my 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 scooter. I She's finally ready for a new one. Broke she got it. the first one when she was four. I broke it in half, like where the um, the handle. Use words. <laughs> Try a vocabulary, Camille. We need to work on our vocabulary. I do that homeschool thing with her. I'll try the best I can. I think I'm doing okay with her. Okay. It broke off right here. Mm -hmm. Where it connected to this. 
To the scooter base. To the scooter base, yeah. You know, you need to throw that stuff away. If it's broken, it's gone. You know how I am about stuff like that. Oh, look, not, not, look, 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 look. That's, it needed those, that, those red, look, look, what do you think? Ribbon? Are we ready for ribbon? Mm. Oh, we need a cardinal. Which cardinal? Cardinal one? Cardinal one or cardinal two? Cardinal one, cardinal two, cardinal one. Cardinal one? Okay. Uh, but, this is going, she won, she asks for the, this little owl for hours. Because it's so soft and cute. You know, I'm, I kind of like this. Pom pom thing. This pom pom thing for Papa. What do you think? Mm -hmm. No, no, we can use it for something else. Um, but I'm thinking. And we also have this. That. For Papa's wreath, oh, I need to do ribbon. Let me do ribbon first. Red, giant ribbon. Hi, Franny. Yeah, she came to me. She, after you hugged me, she had to come hug me. What you gonna do? Okay, that, that dog loves. Uh-oh, 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 phone fell. Phone fell off the flamingo. Balance issue, what can we say? Okay, we got ribbon. I'm gonna make a different video for the other wreath because this is very long. You got, oh, the yes, train, your train year. set. And you I'm got, not even finished building it. You got that last year? Uh-huh. I have no recollection of that. It is very fun, and it sometimes freaks the dog out. It's amazing. I have absolutely no recollection of that. Now, I'm going to take this ribbon bottom up. And I'm going to put it through here. And I'm going to tie it off. I want to tie it on here. Engineer. And, yeah, engineer. Yeah, that's what they're called, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now make pretty with ribbon. Forever. Yeah. And then red sparkles come out. Uh oh, and this piece looks like a snake in the front.
first Christmas was in Billings, Montana. And the rest have been here. Well, except for one that was no. in uh, Columbia. Yeah, one in Columbia. Did we do one in Columbia? I'm pretty sure. At least, uh... We, no, we set them up for Christmas, but I, I don't think we were there for Christmas. I mean, I got my in-laws, I got my mother-in-law some decorations. Along with everything else I got her. And she never appreciated. Catty old woman. Oh, and also this has a magnet. It's so cool. Turn, 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 turn. This is fabulous. You did not see that. I did not see what. Evidently, I didn't see it. What did I not see? Part of the train falling off. Yep, I didn't see it. Fun with ribbon. Major, major fun with the ribbon. He has had some Christmas gifts too. I can double this here and I'll tie it off again. This will be your third Christmas because you were born in Thanksgiving. Two yes, ago. Sh she was born, Franny was born on Thanksgiving yeah. Day two years ago. <laughs> and she is. I gave you a present as a book. Quite I gave a you a little puppy. All things considered. <coughs> I'm gathering up glitter. Um, and for your first Christmas with us, I gave you a bone. Which, <laughs> which Clover ate. Mm. Put out it out. Put out it out. Clover and Souffle were both adopted within two weeks when we surrendered them. Very happy about that. <laughs> so, uh, now I need to decide which side is up and which side is down. I'm holding for any. Camille, which side is it? <sighs> the other way. This is up? Yes. This is up. Yes. This is up and this is down? Uh -huh. Why? Looks pretty. Okay, so this is up and this is down. Come on, Franny. So now I need to I'm holding Franny. Put Thank it you. so that the little cardinal hangs right here. Yep, that's my nose. My way. So that's what I'm gonna do. This dog loves me, and I love her. I can hold her. Well, don't blame her. I'd love you too. Okay, down you go. She's sitting like a human. Okay, friend.
This is going to be adorable. Yeah. My dad's going to really like this, I think. You think Papa's going to like this? Uh-huh. Hi. Sit down. Tweety bird. Did you eat breakfast? No. You need to. Go find you something. Okay. I'm such a good mother. <laughs> go find you something. Let me get my brain first. She's an independent kid. She's 12 and a half. She can't feed herself now. She never will. Mm. She already knows how to do laundry. Mm. Even though she doesn't like to. Mm. But then again, who does? Now look. Is this not fabulous? Look, the little cardinal. Here. Okay. Here. That's my dad's wreath. It's done. I'm pleased. I think my dad will also. I'm going to get him a command hook to put on the door. Because I'm cool like that. To hold the wreath. Oh, here comes Franny again. The star. I swear. Oh, there she goes with her little owl. Isn't that precious? Little owl. Okay. Uh, we're going to end this now. Well, so I can give this dog some love and uh oh and also this that's gonna be on mine oh yeah love that one. leave the little tiny crystals that look like ice everywhere yeah got a speeds okay down, down, down. okay gotta end this uh it's been fun wish you were here uh Merry Christmas and uh I hope Sam's good to you